The problem with a 10 inch Dobsonian, or should I say my problem, or it can be your problem also. 10 inch Dobsonian is a capable telescope, don't take it wrong. It's a big aperture telescope, 10 inch is 25 centimeter or 250 millimeter. That's a lot. It's bigger than the 8 inch, which is the normal um, size for a uh, you know any SCT Schmidt Cassegrain or anything else. The mirror is quite huge. Um, it can condensate like this one also, but it is new. Practically, this telescope is almost new. About a second hand, but it's new, uh, like new it was. And as you can see here, the problem is that when you are standing beside it, it's not high enough to stand without bending. Depends on your height, of course. For me, it is like that or is not too short that you can just sit and observe. So you will have a dilemma. Either you have to uh, you know, bend all the time when you want to look at something near the zenith up, uh, up in the sky, near uh, above your head, or you have to sit when you want to uh, observe something near horizon. Either way, you have to put something under it. I, in this case, I'm using a tree log. Uh, the problem with that is that uh, it should be 50 centimeter in diameter. In this case, it's just at the border, but any, any little movement of the depth, so you may, you know, one of the legs will be out of the balance with that uh, falls down practically. Uh, one of the legs, I mean. Uh, so, uh, movement, <coughs> movement will not be very easy in here, as you can see. And uh, so, another solution is to use a water bottle stand. If you have a water butt, uh, which you use to put uh, the water in it, well, like a water tank, and then there is a stand for it usually, and you can use that stand for this. It should be about uh, more than 50 centimeter to easily fit this one. Either way, 10 inch is a good size, but the height of it is not enough for you as a Dobsonian. So you have to add something underneath. In this case, I've added this uh, log, as you can see here. The legs of the um, mount uh, or rocking box, as they say, is uh, right on the edge, as you can see here. And one, two, three legs. That's the central port, central shaft. And if you do that, that's that's a good, uh, uh, you know, good adjustment for reaching the correct height. Uh, unless you are a kid, that will be really perfect for you. You will not need anything. You can just stand behind it or sit uh, beside it, I should say, or stand beside it and just observe. Other than that, it's too small. I've, I never thought that I would say that, but the ideal uh, ergonomically well-suited telescope is a 12 inch for any, any normal uh, I mean, average human being. Uh, 10 inch too small, that's my problem. That can be your problem when you get a 10 inch uh, Dobsonian, unless you, you want to keep it in your flat, uh, which is apartment or inside your room. That's the only use.